night. Glad to see everybody. And how you doing, Gus? I'm okay, considering I saw my picture in the front window of a local funeral home. Well, that's not good. No, the worst thing was the sign under it that said, Coming soon. <laughs> So what have you been up to lately? Oh, I had a girlfriend for a while now. Well, that's good. No, she's mad at me. Mad about what? Oh, well, last week the king home late. She's standing at the front door with a broom in her hands. With a broom? Yep. And what'd you say to her? I said, oh, are you still cleaning or Getting set to fly off somewhere. <laughs> then this week she must have been in the mood. Why, how do you know that? Well, I came home and she's standing in the hallway wearing nothing except for saran wrap. The saran wrap? Oh, that's different. What was your reaction to that? Oh, leftovers again. Come on. Come on. At your age, what can you actually do with a girlfriend? Well, I can still drive and pick her up in the car. You still drive safe at your age? No. <laughs> I actually hit a cat on the way here today. Didn't you see it? <laughs> what? I hit it, didn't I? Gus, that's not good. That cat could have belonged to someone who came here to the show tonight to come and see us. What'd the cat look like? Oh, it looked like this. <laughs> Gus, I mean, before you hit it, what did it look like? Oh, like this. <laughs> You're so out of control. I don't know about you, man. Seriously, what do you guys do to stay busy? Well, we go on long walks. Well, that's good exercise walking at your age. Yeah, we went on this one walk, and at the end of the road, there was a wishing well. When we got to it, he fell in. I didn't know those things really worked. I guess you like that one, huh? <laughs> uh, where'd you meet your girlfriend, anyway? Well, we used to work together a long time ago. You know, all these years I've known you and been working with you, you've never told me what you did for a living. What was your job? Well, I was a veterinarian. Okay. And a taxidermist. A vet and a taxidermist? That's like a weird combination, don't you think? Yeah, except with me, you always knew either way you were going to get your dog back. Oh, come on, that was funny. <laughs> ladies, any single ladies in the audience? Yeah. Well, married ones, I don't care. <laughs> hey, what's your name? Hey. Where are you from? I'm sorry? No, I heard you. I'm just sorry. <laughs> uh, no, it's nice that she came to the show here in Manhattan tonight, you know? Yeah, she's a hottie. Can't talk like that about someone here at the show. That could be her husband or boyfriend next to her. Oh, he's making... Funny faces at me. No, he's not. That's his real face. <laughs> hey, what's your name? Seamus. Seamus. You like jokes? You having a good time? 
Do I think something real? <laughs> Don't laugh, you'll spoil it. Uh, so things are going good with your girlfriend? Yeah, I think I'm actually going out with Miss Wright. Well, that's good. I just didn't know her first name was always. So you live with this girl? Yes. You gonna marry her? I don't know. I asked her a question the other day. What'd you ask her? I said, if I won lotto, what would you do? What'd she tell you? She said, I'd take half and leave you. I said, great. I won $20, here's 10, now get out. That's all my time. Thank you very much. Have a great day. <laughs> Thank you. Vinny, you and Gus, let's hear it. Come on. And how about Gus? Come on, about Gus too. That's great.